Hello everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Y Shiny Lock. I almost called it the X Shiny Lock. But yeah, in the last episode, we saved the Obama Snow, which now means that Mammoth Swine's gonna feel comfortable giving its famous tours once again. So yeah. Wow, look at me. Look at me doing that, like, split on it. But yeah. Oh, um, you know, Mammoth Swine really loves being in the uh, cold conditions, so this is not Pokemon abuse, I guess. <coughs> it's a Sneasel! Oh, I, we stepped on it! Oh boy, that's fun. We just, you know, casually just stepped on it when it was like, you know, just chilling in the snow. My bad, bro, my bad. But yeah, this is definitely what inspired, um... Oh, I'm hitting the wrong button. I'm like, why am I not breaking it? Yeah, get destroyed, you freaking Bulldors. I think there's an item here. Did I just happen to break the one block that just didn't matter? No, kind of don't want to fight in the sky. It's not like a me thing. Um, I'm guessing this way is now the item. I feel like this is like where like I'll die, like a freaking avalanche would just fall upon me. All for the icicle plate. I don't even think you can get Arceus in this game, so it's kind of weird that the plates are just lying around. I know the plates are used for more than just, you know, changing Arceus. But yeah, like, look at this freaking Mamoswine. I wish I could dance like Mamoswine could. Look at it. Freaking moonwalking on all of us. Can you moonwalk? <sighs> this is very slow and boring, but, you know, it do be like that sometimes. Bro, why is everyone taking freaking naps in the snow today? Do you want to get stepped on? Because it seems like that. Oh, come on, really? Bro, why? I, I gotta buy repels, I swear. Nice job, Mammoth Swine. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is the end of the route. Yes, it is. Hollow clip received! Man, does this game love to hold your hand? Justin! This time I challenge you to battle in front of Anastar City's gym. Prepare yourself! Okay, Ike. Or should I say, okay, neighbor? And we've made it to Anastar City. You there! Oh, hey, Boomer. I came in pl in place of Dexo to tell you something. There's a person here in Anastar who knows about the legendary Pokemon. Oh, I almost forgot. I brought you some gifts. Put these to good use. Repeat balls. I don't know how. Repeat balls make it blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. Okay, boomer. So yeah, we've made it. Uh, I don't think we even took any damage because we just ran from everything. So yeah, we're going to be battling Serena once more. You remind me a lot of Clement's sister. Clothing shop? Eh, I'll probably shop off camera if I'm gonna buy anything. 
So yeah, I think the gym is right here. Yes, there's a little. Justin! Let me show you how much stronger I am. I did say we're gonna be rivals back in that cafe in Lumino City after all. Alright, let's see how strong you claim to be. You got four Pokemon, I got five. Meowstick. Alright, I see. Psychic v Psychic. I don't really have any dark moves, so let's just see if this kills you. Well. I see how it is. Yes, get burned. I forgot. I keep forgetting to turn on battle animations. My bad, everybody. Turn them on at the end of this episode. It's about to send in Greninja. Yeah, let's just stay in. Probably. We'll probably be okay. It's only like a water dark type. We'll just kill it with cut, you know. Candy. What's going on, Greninja? I know I'm sorry I didn't pick you, but trust me, you're you're still my favorite. Dark Pulse. Wow, that did a lot of damage. But that did even more. Let's go and cross. Larion. Interesting choice. Interesting. But Lefric has me covered. Excuse me, look. There we go. <sighs> Get demolished. Wow, actually, you didn't die. Bite. That did, like, no damage. It's a little afraid there for a second. So yeah, next up should be Absol, so that shouldn't be too much to worry about. Will I switch my Pokemon? Yes, I think I will. Who should I switch into? Uh, I'm gonna go into... You know what, I'm gonna go into Carnage. No, Twitch, I'm trying to think. You know what, I'll just go into Twix. I was gonna go into Carnage, but then I thought, eh, I don't know. Let's get Twix some time to, to shine. It's not gonna be a threat to either of us, so yeah. Just kill it with, I guess, Bulldoze. Slash. Okay, see how it is. Your speed fell. Aha. Time to get you paralyzed. It didn't paralyze. Alright, this is just gonna be a battle of hits then, I guess. Critical hit on me. That wasn't cool of you. Your speed is falling again. Do I outspeed? Yes, and it kills you. Get good. You defeated Trainer Serena. I am just not good enough to bring out the best of my Pokemon. Indeed. My Pokemon are so much stronger now, but you and your Pokemon are still one step ahead of me. Anyway, I'll heal your Pokemon here. Thank you. You and your Pokemon are good enough to beat the Gym Leader. Go for it. You see, now I could go for the Gym Leader, and I think I am, just because I think I'm ready. Because, like, I think the only thing that really holds me- there's nothing that holds me back. My Pokemon already leveled up through, um, those a few instances. Now, I am viable to get a Pokemon here, and I probably will- I'll probably save it for afterward, that way I don't make you guys wait as long for a gym, because I'm not going to use the Pokemon for this gym, this is just an overall, like, Pokemon to use to build up for. So yeah, we have some extra time, might as well just see what clothes I can buy, I don't know. Alright, ah, oh, this is where I got my cap from my last game, my, not my last game, yeah, I guess technically, still like the red jacket. More looking in for maybe some pants. I have 
have so much money. I'm gonna splurge on these. Let's see. Socks. I can have my normal socks or I can have green socks. Then no one will ever say. Kinda like the boots. Kinda fit me. The bag, uh I don't know. Well, I like the bag. Let's say accessories. See, I'm more of a fan of the glasses personally, so yeah. I just think I'm just gonna buy the pants with the rips in it, that's about it. Damn, look at me, I'm straight up vibing. Like, hardly even, you probably wouldn't even notice. It costed me 10k. Like, seriously, it costs less money to, like, buy a Pokeball than it does to buy pants. 10,500 for pants. But yeah, I can add Gogo to the team, or not. I'll probably do Ludicolo honestly anytime I want. It's just that I can do it as soon as I beat the gym. So if I wanted to, I can go for two Pokemon. So I'll probably be, like just kill, defeat the gym, and then add Gogo to the team in place of Big Chungus. Oh yes, I love this gym. I remember that part. You know, it's just fun. You enter a normal house, and then literally it falls completely apart. But yeah. Oh, I forgot to get Crunch on Steelix, and that's pretty helpful. I'm going to look up what the move reminder is, and then I will be right back. Alrighty, take two. Steelix now learned Crunch, so that should be really helpful. I also found out that it could also learn the Elemental Fangs if I needed it to. So yeah, let's -a go. It's a very interesting gym, to say the least, but what else would you expect from a Psychic gym? Expect it to be weird and confusing. And there is an executor. Now you might be wondering, Forgotten, why are you sending out a poison type to a psychic gym? And I think I've said this a billion times already, so if I am saying it again, I apologize, but Carnage is a poison dark type, meaning I can't be hit by psychic moves. Meaning, unless it's a psychic ground type or a Pokemon that just knows a ground move, I cannot be killed by psychic moves. That didn't really make sense. I'm immune to psychic attacks because I'm dark. And I'm only weak to ground. So that's pretty OP. Um, so, zoom. Alright, I don't remember this puzzle at all, by the way. I just remember it was so trippy. Let's see, I don't even know where she is. I'm gonna guess I'm gonna have to go into the, this tile. Da -da -da, da -da -da. Of course, I went the wrong way. Hey, there's a star in the sky. Oh, it's supposed to be star you? Star me? It's got the circle in it. Okay, well, now I'm officially below where I started, so I went down. I feel like she's gonna be on the pink layer. So I probably wanna go down. But yeah, now I'm going this way, so that's good. This is, I haven't gone this way yet. Oh! Oh! Yes, I dodged the trainer. Let's go. My luck is finally paying off. Left or right? Left. No. Alright. Well, I'd rather have not fought the trainer, so I'm glad I got the right way on that one. Alright, let's go down. I think I've only had to fight one trainer so far. I think that's the only mandatory trainer anyway, so yeah. Oop, now we're down onto the pink. Oh, I see her right there. Question is, how do I get there? Probably doing this. Yep, going around. Yep, just gonna go around you. Don't need any more training. Or any close calls of any sort. And there she is. Wow. Alright, Mrs. Flex standing on a freaking galaxy. This is a cool place. Uh, there we go. I was gonna say, why didn't it zoom? Uh, real. A ritual to decide your fate and future. The battle begins. Yeah. Doesn't talk too much about, you know, how intense it is. I wonder if she's related to uh, Fantina. 
And Tina did say she came from France. And, you know, Olympia. You know, Fantina. Maybe. But yeah. Not too much exciting building up to this. But yeah, we're in the freaking one of the best backgrounds, I think, in all of Pokemon. A spinning space. Yeah. It's not like a still image. This actually moves. I forgot to turn on battle animations. I said I was going to do it, and I just didn't remember. So yeah, that's Sigala. Sigalith. It... Is that how you say it? Sigala? Alright, let's try Bug Bite. Maybe it's holding a berry. Alright. Critical hit. Well, that explains why that did so much damage. Hyper Potion. Alright, well. And that was a crit. <laughs> you just like, it's funny. Like, you do like no damage, then you just completely destroy it. You're like, yep, that just had to be a crit. Carnage is so OP. It's got one weakness. And its crits are even more powerful. Slacking. Yeah, we're gonna have to stay in. Slacking is quite powerful, so I just hope it doesn't have, like, Hydra Pump. Because that could do a lot of damage, regardless if I'm weak to it or not. Yawn. Uh, alright, I don't want to have to swap out, so let's hope we can... No, Bug Bite didn't do much for me. Fell asleep. I don't really have any better options to swap into, so I'm gonna just, hopefully I'm going to just give myself an item to wake up. I think I have an awakening. No, but I've got 31 full heals, so I know why I bought those. Power gem. Ew, please don't get the boost. Yes, okay, didn't get the boost. We're good. We're good. Crit? No, it just, just did a lot of damage. Alright, let's go. I think she's got one more, or she's got two more. Meow stick. Not even a threat. Yeah, that was it. Alright, well, I guess we didn't really need to teach Steelix anything. Calm mind. Ah, oh, that's scary. Please don't set up. Shadow Ball. That did, like, no damage, because I'm dark type. That was really easy. I was expecting her to be way more challenging than that. But that's the issue when you only give them three Pokemon, is they can't... They don't really press you. This game is just that easy, where it's, like, barely any training got me here. Ah, <sighs> create your own path, let nothing get in your way, your fate, your future. She also gives you deep metaphors, like never give up, never surrender. I meant, what the one she just said, just like Fantina does. They're definitely related. I'm making that canon. Now, the Psychic Badge, a testament to your skill. Proof of your power. You see, that badge actually looks kind of cool. It's all bubbly and whatnot. Yeah, that was pretty easy. A symbol of trust. Level 30 or below. Pokemon will obey. I meant 30? That said clear that clearly said 90. I don't know where I got 30 from. Special attack and special defense are increased. The TM and uh, the Calm Mind TM. Power that takes life awakens voices of woe. That is your future. Back to whence you came. You can be transported there. Warp to the entrance. Yes. Farewell. And we're back. Well, that wasn't so bad. I'm sure getting the psychic badge wasn't too much trouble for you. Right, Justin? And it would be none other than Serena. I think it'll challenge you to your daily battle when this trip is all said and done. Seemed like the neighborly... Thing, neighborlyhood thing to do. Let's have a rematch. Yeah, but what? What's this? What could this be? Oh, the ominous music in the background that doesn't really fit because it's a different place. Pokemon trainers, I come to you by the hollow caster to make an important announcement. Listen well. Team Flare will revive the ultimate weapon Eliminate anyone who isn't in our group, and return the world to a beautiful, natural state. Unproductive fools are consuming our future. If nothing changes, the world will become ugly, and conflicts will raise the land from end to end. I repeat, we will use the ultimate weapon and wipe the slate clean. I'm sorry to those of you who are not members of Team Flare, but this is adieu to all, to you all. Dun dun dun. 
Was that my Sandra saying? Wiping the slate clean, eliminating everyone but Team Flair? Justin, let's look for Team Flair's headquarters. Where could Lysander be? Perhaps he, where we first met him in Lumio City. Wow, that escalated quickly. What are you fools doing? Because adds, wait, what? Team Flair forever, because this outfit adds extra pizza to drinking espresso. Wait, you get free pizza? I'm in, if that's the case. You can know where the Mario Plaza are. Just, yeah, tell me where the headquarters are. You know, it's not like I'm going to try to, like, you know, stomp your evil boss or anything. But, yeah. Now, this isn't really regarding to the story, but I want to do this anyway, just because this part of the game is beautiful. Does it not get me a zoom in? Just look at... It should give me a zoom in from some perspective. I don't know where I've got to stand, though. No, it's definitely not that way. Huh, it doesn't give me a zoom in of this place. Oh, I mean, I guess this is the best way to do it. Fill the photo guy. It's just beautiful. I mean, look at it. Sorry, I'm just like zooming out there. It's just really like a beautiful thing they built. It was for the uh, dance, whatever its thing is called, I forgot. But yeah, there used to be tons of speculation and theories on what this meant. And this was like before like the huge rise of like, you know, like to YouTube to things. But yeah, there was like all these theories that if you brought a special Pokemon here, then something would happen, just like with the other gardens. And I really miss those times. I mean, obviously none of the rumors were true, but it added a little bit of mystery and majest majesticness, I guess you could say. Oh, we can't go through this way. I guess we have to go to Lysander's um, coffee shop or cafe. We'll heal up by the Poké Center in um, Lumio City, but yeah, we're pretty close to finishing the game. Obviously, this is the main villain event, and uh, we have one gym badge after this. So yeah, we can now potentially even hunt two Pokemon, so yeah, I think I'm not going to interact with the Lysander event just quite yet, because I'm going to probably get the reinforcement beforehand, so I'm sorry if I'm like leading you guys on to, you know, oh look, I'm going to go and uh, kill Lysander and whatnot. Um, hopefully it all lines up in my um, schedule, so yeah, I'll be hunting Go-Goat for the Shiny Lock, and then we'll continue on, just because I'd rather have the reinforcement. Because, like, Diggersby really is only there in case I'm not 100% sure of what I want to do. It's more of a sacrifice, which is kind of sad. But not, I keep saying Go-Goat. I think I've decided by this point it'll be a Ludicolo. Just because I'd rather have the less weaknesses, and it's a really good cover in case something happens to, um... Um, Left Freck. So, yeah. I could potentially get three more Pokemon, because I didn't get one for this gym. Actually, no, wait, no, not three. I can get two more Pokemon. Um, I can get, um, a Go-Goat, not Go-Goat, I can get the Ludicolo and then I can get one more Pokemon, which I'll save as a backup pair right before the Elite Four in case I want to, like, switch what I have or add someone who will be really helpful. But yeah, I want to thank you all for watching this episode of the Pokemon Y Shiny Lock, and hopefully I'll see you all again soon. Bye!